Fast Mathematics by M.K. Jain. My name is M.K. Jain and as usual, today I am going to teach you certain new techniques for doing fast calculation. Often students they say, I can't, I can't. But after watching my videos, you will say, I can, I can. I guarantee you that. I will teach you three techniques, three new tricks. Now, often in a question, we are required to find out squares of such type of numbers. I think you are observing a pattern which is very clear to you and the pattern is what? Square of square of numbers with 3. When you do a square of 3, it is 9. And when you do a square of 33, it is 1089. Now you need to understand the pattern. Now you need to keep adding 1 and 8. That means if there are two threes, then you need to have 1, 1 and 1, 8. And if there are three threes, then you need to have 2, 1 and 2, 8. That means the answer is this. 9 will always come at the end. 0 will come between 1 and 8. And you need to increment number of 1s and number of 8s. Now here you have 4 3s. And you need to find their square. 4 3s means less, reduce it by 1. That means 3. You need to write 3 1s. Then 0, 3 times 8. And at the end, 9. I think you have got the technique. Similarly, how many 3's are here? 5. So that means you need to write 4 times 1 and 4 times 8. 1, 1, 1, 1, 4 times. Then 0, 8, 8, 8, 8. And at the end, you need to write 9. Now tell me, is this small trick clear to you? whether you have understood the trick yes or no do tell me yes or no do tell me clear now the second one similar to this one here you will be doing square of numbers with repeated 9 earlier you did it with repeated 3. Now you will be doing it with repeated 9's. First of all you see what is the square of 9 square? It is 81. Now you have to understand one concept. This 8 and 1 will get stagnant and we keep on adding other numbers in between the two. Here we have Two nines. So two nines means one. One time you will write what? You will write nine, eight, zero, one. Now concentrate on these two numbers, nine and zero. These nine and zeros will keep on getting incremented. The number will always end by one, and in between there will lie one eight. That means you have to increment. You have to increment 9 here and 0 here. So you need to find out square of double line. So you need to insert 1 9 here, 1 0 here. Now you need to find out square of triple line. That means you need to insert 2 numbers. 2 9 here and 2 0 here. So it becomes 9 9 8 0 0 1. Now you need to find out square of oh I, by mistake i have written cube and 4 earlier also i wrote it like this no earlier it was right mistake can always happen squares so you 
intend to find out square of 4 times 9. So you need to insert 3 times 9 and zeros. 3 nines, then 8, 3 zeros, then 1. This time you need to find out square of 5 times 9. So you need to insert 4 nines before 8, 4 zeros, after 8, followed by 1. So have you liked the technique? How is this technique? Have you understood it clearly? Yes or no? Yes or no? Please tell me. This was the second technique. Look. How is the technique? The same concept you can follow here. This is 9. You write it in two parts. Then you say every time you need to insert here and here. Here you will insert 1 and 8. Total of 1 and 8 is 9. And here also you are in, uh, inserting 9 and 0. Again total of 9 and 0 is 9. So here you intend to insert 1 and 8 in case of 3. And in case of 9, you need to insert 9 and 0. So this is, if you see there is a similarity in the two concepts. Now third concept. Third concept, you are going to find out squares of numbers with 1. 1, 11 square, triple 1 square, 4 times 1 square, 5 times 1 square. So it goes like this. Since here there are 2 digits, so you need to write it, the answer in 3 digits. It is like this, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. First it will increase, then decrease. Here it is triple 1. So you write 1, 2, 3, then reduce it. 1, 2, 3, then reduce it to 1. Here you have 4 times 1. So you need to write 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you start reducing it. 3, 2, 1. Have you understood the concept? Here you have 5 ones. So you will write in ascending order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you will start declining 4, 3, 2, 1. So have you understood the technique? So this is the technique which can enable you to do questions very fast without any problem. Now few students are wondering how will it help us in doing different types of questions. It will help you. Suppose in an examination you get to multiply these two numbers. First you forget about decimals. Look at it carefully. It is nothing but square of triple one. Forget about the num decimals. So this is triple one. This is triple one. You need to square the triple one. And since there are three ones, so what is the answer? 1, 2, 3, then you will decline to 1. Now you calculate the decimals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you will write the answer like this. Tell me, is it clear or not? Tell me. Now here you must be wondering how to use this in this case. Here also you can use the same concept. I am giving you one example for each. Suppose in the examination, examiner asks you to multiply these two numbers. Forget about zeros. Forget about zeros. Then you observe it is 99 into 99. That is square of 99. So two nines. Right? 9 square is 81, you write 81 like this, then here and here you insert 1 9. Here 9 and here 0. So the answer is 9801 which is a square of 99. Now you calculate number of zeros 1, 2, 3. So you put 3 zeros at end. Now you see how easily you have multiplied the figures without using anything. Now look at this number. I will use this this time. Suppose it is 
into 990. Again, you forget about decimal and zeros. You observe it is nothing but square of triple nine. So you remember nine square is 81. You write it. I am changing the color. I am putting it as green. You write 81. Give some space. Now, since there are three nines, so you need to insert two nines and two zeros. Two nines before it and two zeros after it. So this is the product or the square of triple nine. Now you calculate the decimal part. You have one zero and two decimal. One zero will cancel to one of the two decimals, and you are left with one decimal. So your answer is nine nine eight zero zero point one. So this is how you can use this wonderful technique to do problems orally. I'll show you for this also. Earlier, just by looking at the problem, you will get terrorized. How to do such a difficult problem? You will get terrorized. But now I hope you will not get terrorized. Instead, you will kill the terrorist. This is like a terrorist. You will kill it. <laughs> so look at these problems. Now you again forget about zeros and decimals. So on careful observation, you find it is square of five times nine. So you will write eight and one, and then you will insert since it is five times nine, four nines and four zeros. One, two, three. Four nines and four zeros. One, two, three, four. Yes or no? Now calculate. You have four decimals and one zero. One zero will eliminate or cancel out one of the four decimals, and you are left with three decimals. So you put a decimal after three places, and this is your answer, my dear. Tell me, is the idea clear or not? Very difficult problems. Made very easy for you. You have become fast. Now you will never say I can't. You will say I can. So that is the change which I want to bring in you. This is my main desire. Now let us use the same concept over here. Now let me take a problem which will involve four times three. Look at the question. It is three. It is zero point. Three, 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 three multiplied by zero point zero three 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 three. No hassle. No hassle. Square of three is square of three is zero and nine. Square of three is nine, but you write it in two digits, so it is zero and nine. And you need to insert here and here. Since there are four times three, you will be inserting. Three ones and three eights, so it becomes one, 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 three ones, one eight, two eight, three eight. Now you carry on with number of decimals: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put one zero, then decimal. decimal after nine places so this is your final answer tell me have you understood it if you have liked my video please remember to do what click the like button below the video and also subscribe to my channel to get latest updates new tricks new ways of be doing fast calculations so it was fast mathematics by mk j is the idea clear is everything clear do send your suggestions comments requirements at my whatsapp number displayed on the right side of the video thumbs up